Hello everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Earthbound. Hello? Hello, this is Apple Kid. I'll come up with another wacky invention that I think has real potential. Maybe you won't, uh, but anyway, it's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It makes many different flavors of yogurt. The only problem is, uh, right now, it can only make trout-flavored yogurt, so I'm having the machine delivered to you via Escargo Express. It's coming neglected class. Hopefully we'll get it soon. Yeah, everything is... <laughs> oh, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta go. Okay. Well then. Now that we're done with that, we're through with Moonside, and in this episode we're gonna go... and talk... What in the heck are you trying to do there? You okay, monkey? Oh, go, 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 what? Wow, there he goes. He just... Teleported? What? What? Hello? Crash. Oops. Crunch. Oops. <laughs> Greetings, it's the Escargo Express's neglected class. Woo! I just got here from the dusty dune desert. There was a there was a sunbathing guy. He told me about a cave with lots of monkeys. Anyway, he said, "Well, uh, yeah, I forgot. Actually, I forgot the stuff I was supposed to deliver too. I think it was some weird machine to make trout flavored yogurt. Yeah, I forgot at the desert. I'm not going back that way, so don't ask me to get you the package. I mean, it's your package, right? You go get it. <laughs> it's my money, and I want it now. <laughs> that commercial always made me laugh. Hello." I heard you talking about trout-flavored yogurt. I'm a maid who serves Mr. Monotoli, and I'm looking for trout-flavored yogurt to give to our special guest. If you know anything about it, please tell me. I've been searching and searching. I guess we better go to the monkey cave in the desert and then pick up that yogurt machine. There's a sentence you don't hear every day. Man. What's wrong with Ness's feet? He's not walking properly. Oh, he's numb. That's right. Look at that way he's walking really slow. His sprite's not changing often enough. He looks like he's leaping through the air almost. Time to sleep at the hotel. That should cure us of all our problems. Working through the night, Trev fixed the broken pipe. After being fixed, the broken pipe became the shield killer. Today's headline. Over 50% of Forsyth citizens now support anti monotoli campaign. And on page 23, lonely demise in the city. Long-haired man with beard, sunglasses, and a low shirt found in street. Really now? I think we've already heard about that. But it's good that the town is turning against Monotoli. Apparently I'm still numb, so I'm gonna have to go by the hospital and get that get that repaired. Not quite. But uh, I'll meet you down uh, at the bus stop after I go to the hospital and get cleaned up. And unnumbed. <laughs> you gave me too much anesthesia! I can't feel my legs! And we're gonna select Restore Feeling. That will get us to no longer be numb. I guess I could've just done that with my PSI, but... Oh well. I didn't think of it until I got here. Whatever. I can show you that the hospital can do it, too. Here we are at the bus stop. <laughs> Don't talk to the sign! Read the schedule from on the sidewalk. Sorry. Listen, this bus is coming soon. Alright, cool. We're gonna ride it back out into the desert, because I don't feel like walking to the tunnel. Doop, 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 doop. This bus goes to Tucson via 3. 4 bucks? That's not so bad. Yeah. Just two bucks per person? Not bad at all. And this will be the last time that we'll have to use the bus or walk to uh, places we've already been. Because we're going to be getting the fast travel mechanic hopefully very soon. I like the music the bus plays. Or the, music, the background music that plays while you're on the bus. It's good stuff. I don't know why, I just, uh, I like it. And we're all the way back out here. It should give us the option to get off when we get to the store back here in the desert. Which conveniently is right next to the cave where the monkeys live. Do you want to get off? Yes, I do. Alright, see you later. Drive safe. So now we're going to go into the drugs store. And, uh, go ahead and purchase some things. How much have we got? I can't look at my stuff. There it is. 400 some? I think we want... Uh, oh boy, what was it that we needed to buy? I know we needed a skip sandwich. We don't seem to have a skip sandwich. You're the, you're the equipment guy. Who am I supposed to talk to to get my skip sandwich? Here we go. I wanted a skip sandwich. And what else was it that we were going to need? Now I can't remember. Oh boy, this is important. Um, 
I think it was a picnic lunch. I'm pretty sure. I'm not totally sure. But yeah, get a scoop sandwich and a picnic lunch. You're also going to need to go ahead and call up uh, your sister if you don't have the pencil eraser, which I don't. No, we don't want to store something. Crap! Well, can I call her back and just change my order? Shoot, not your mom! Oh, well, guess look, we're talking to mom. Your teacher dropped by looking for you. Don't worry, I covered for you. Everything's fine here. Keep on trucking. Well, my soap opera's getting to the really steamy part, so I better let you go. That's... Wow, okay. Thanks, Mom. Nice talking to you. All our delivery people are out. Oh, great. I'll handle this. Okay, we need delivery. Okay, what would we like... Oh, no, not that! Oh, wait, that's what we need. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, that's it. Pencil eraser, and that's it. Yes, okay, good. That's all we need. Alright, good stuff. So we'll go ahead and wait for that. I suppose we can go ahead and head the way we're going. We don't have to stand around and do nothing. We talked to this guy, he's a weapons dealer at Moles, really? Oh! Automatic win! Nice. 200 experience each, so... Shit, I'm already loud. What do you want? <laughs> I got you need. Yeah, you can purchase things, yeah. Bottle rockets, stuff like that. They're pretty cheap. Honestly, he could do to have a couple bottle rockets, because I don't think he has any right now. And that's something that he's, uh pretty useful for us using those follow rockets, so... Let's give you two. We're not gonna need to do any battling in this video, I don't think. Not much of it, at least. Alright, where's that Escargo Express? There he is! Right on time. I'm from Escargo Express! I'm here to deliver your pencil eraser! Yeah, I need to pay to take it back, but alright, cool. Why didn't he ask who would carry it? I guess he automatically gave it to Trev since he had a space. I really want to go for that hole, but I'm not gonna make it, so I'm just gonna fight the Scorpion. Maybe we can get an auto-kill on these. Oh, the Buka! The Crested Buka! Level up! <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm sure that some of you guys heard my tone and knew where I was going with that one. Alright, down to the Hole of Monkeys. This is an interesting area that I'm gonna cut out quite a lot of. Oh, run from me, Sprouts! Can I get an auto-win on you guys? I hope so. Nope. Level up! Man, I got two Vitality level ups in a row. That's crazy. Alright, so, yeah, those are the tough mobile sprouts. They're basically the same as mobile sprouts, a little bit harder. So the way that this dungeon works is, it's a series of doors, a series of tubes, man. And what you'll, ha what you'll have to do is give these monkeys items so that they'll move out of the way to allow you passage. And it takes a long time, and you have to have a bunch of items, but basically everything you need, except for the skip sandwich and the picnic lunch, which I think is what these two monkeys want. Okay, yeah, skip sandwich. Okay, so, yes, we will give him one. We'll go ahead and select it. Okay, cool. And you see, he gets out of the way. I think you... Please tell me you want to pick the bunch. Yes! If you grant my wish. Oh boy. Okay, here. You can have it. And you end up coming out ahead, I think, in the end, with the number of items that you're given. And they might not move right out of the way immediately. They kind of start wandering once you give it to them. But basically, everything you need except for those first two items is in the cave. So if you're persistent, you can find it. I'm going to fast forward this part. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to play music or post commentator or what. But, yeah. Here we go. Bam. Let's do it. Dude, I'm trying to start the fast forward montage. You gotta get out of the way, man. Jeez. Here we come. Walk down the street. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. And people say we monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. Oh. Alrighty then, this monkey part took quite a while to record and to play. I gotta tell you that, <laughs> in order to fill this space, I would have to do, I think, eight different songs to keep myself underneath the copyrighted minimum of 30 seconds. That's the whole, you know, that's how we actually got to have longer videos, right? They, YouTube increased, uh, basically they specialized and created some really good uh, what would you call it? Copyright detection software? And it, that's why we get the longer videos, is because you, you say, well, how can we have longer videos if somebody can just upload, like, all of the Star Wars saga in two videos, you know? Well, you can't. Uh, the way the copyright detection works is that you can't get away with it anymore, and that's why we're allowed to have them. So basically, when you're going through this monkey part, uh, you just have to, like I said, everything that you need is in the cave. 
Sorry about that. Killing the mic out here, man. Every time I try to scratch my face, I run into the mic. But yeah, everything you need's in the cave, except for those first two items, the picnic nuts and the picnic lunch, the skip sandwich, and you're going to need a pencil eraser, too. And when you're done with it, I think you can kick the pencil eraser away if you want. Uh, you're not gonna actually need it again in the game, I don't think. But there's one other place where you can optionally use it, and we've already seen it. So let's see, what else do I want to talk about? I've done my inevitable restart that I do with every RPG, it seems. I, I get far enough in that I I start to like see how the plot is coming together. I get near the end, almost, and then I realize, Oh, crap, I did my character wrong. I need to change this one stat. And that's what I've done recently with Fallout New Vegas. I've gotten all the way to the end. I'm in the, like, I'm in the strip, and I'm doing stuff with like Mr. House and the factions and looking at all those things, and it's like, oh, crap. I really should have redone my character sooner than this. Now I'm invested in the plot. So I decided to say, eh, screw it. I went ahead and started over and did my character over in a way that I thought would make more sense. And uh, I don't know, I, just, I, tend to, I tend to do that when I play RPGs. I'll play through, and then I'll realize, oh man, I really wish I had had more intelligence, or I really wish I had, you know, played a more gutsy character with more melee, we with, a, with more melee weapon usage throughout the game. Cause it would be so much more fun. Blah blah blah. And I, I come back around, basically just threw away like 20 hours of gameplay. It's like, man, I'll start over. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's no big deal. Yeah, that's basically it. And I got kind of, like, I kind of got lost actually. I was totally bored at, near the end. I lost my sense of direction. And I think that with the new way I'm gonna play through, I'll have a little bit more of fun to do. You may see my video total drop drastically. It probably will already have dropped by the time you see this video. And let me explain. Um, I'm not deleting anything important. I'm not getting rid of anything that you're gonna miss. Uh, if you aren't aware of this, I've attempted to do Dead Rising twice. And there's some other videos on here that actually are Dead Rising, but were never released because I didn't finish the LP. So there's effectively three Dead Rising LPs that I never finished that are on the account still. And there's also uh, some videos from Pokemon Yellow that I'm going to delete. So if you're looking around and there's some, also my video count is like 30, 40 videos lower, that's why. So uh, and you may be able to guess why I'm removing all the Dead Rising videos. But that's for another day. I'll see you guys later. Let's get back to the live commentary. And here we are. The Tolerano's room. I probably have too much junk to carry a lot of this stuff here. Yeah, brain food lunch, that's a good item. And a cup of life noodles, those are both good items that we're going to want to take with us. Oh boy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's eat the picnic lunch. What else can I get rid of? <laughs> Let's use the chicken. <laughs> What? All right. Get a cup of life noodles and brain food lunch. Okay, let's talk to the Holly Rama. The truth of space and time moves through the universe like a wave. The truth speaks through space and matter and makes itself known to human beings. I was waiting for you, and you came. This was destined to happen. In truth, all was predetermined. Ness, Paula, Trev, and Neo. When these four powers gather, twisted space will bring back peace to the world. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and take what's inside with you. Did you come in search of this? Someone left it behind in this hole. You cannot carry anything else. Why don't you get rid of something you don't need? You will need this. The gourmet yogurt machine. Oh boy. We too much crap, man. We really do. Eat a hamburger, who cares? Oh, I am not reading that again. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not a chance. Can you give me the thing, please? Did you come in search of this? Yeah, we got the yogurt dispenser. The adventure that lies ahead won't be easy. I'll give you a special skill to help you move through space as you wish. Learn the skill from the monkey over there. Would you like to learn a special power? Sure. <laughs> That's wonderful. Speak to the monkey over there. Hello. The adventure that lies ahead won't be easy. I'll give you a special skill to help you move through space as you wish. Learn... wait. Wait a minute, I tried to talk to the monkey, I talked to him again, I think. I teach you teleportation. Let's go outside. Oh boy. I have to walk outside again. Okay, now that we're outside, let's talk to the monkey. Follow me, like this way. Alright, down here. I got a sunburn and a mole! 
A back attack from a mole! Anyway, follow the monkey down to the street here. Okay. I'll do a teacher's demonstration. If you can learn this, you can go anywhere you've been previously. You can go there instantly. This skill can't be used in a room or underground. And <laughs> they watch him as he goes. It's so neat. And he comes back. Went to Foresight and returned. I showed you the basic straight course, but you can also build those Google turning if you've enough room. Okay, why don't you try it? Oh, I guess it does that automatically. I didn't touch the controller there. And uh, we're back. Next learns how to use PSI teleportation. Great. Alright, teacher's going home now. <laughs> Time for my coffee. Alright, and that's all there is to it. Now that we have teleport, we'll do some neat things with it in the next episode. It doesn't cost a lot of PSI, thank goodness. And that'll bring us one step closer to finding Paula. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.